after the long first ser series from Zerton, he's playing the Mongols this time. He's in the eastern side of Canal. And who else is over in the west? And in the west, we've got Nyan Racing Cat coming straight out of a snowstorm to us with the Holy Roman Empire. And here we go. What does this game have in store for us? One of the first things I notice right off the bat is Nyan is not opting for a water yeah. opening. No wood, no wood being taken. He's doing the 3-3 three, three split, so he just says, nah, 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 I don't care about shoreline fish. I don't want to have to deal with that early. You know, if you want to go for water, you can do that, or we might actually end up seeing just a normal opening here and them just acting like this is a regular old land map. Maybe they haven't practiced it. Maybe they haven't seen it a lot or... Maybe this is just their game plan coming into it as in the first place. My guess is just that he's an HRE facing up against the Mongol and he just doesn't want to play the Dark Age matchup against the Mongol Empire. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely understand. I definitely get it. That double production is hard to deal with, but I will say the HRE is one of the sieves that can somewhat deal with this, especially if they have, you know, one or two fishing boats extra. They're able to continue to produce up and utilize that food to have more spearmen and utilize their prelate to heal up some, but not opting for that. It is just that normal opening opening like we expected. And same thing from Zertan, who is looking to go for the typical tower rush. Yeah, he's probably expecting to find a dock. Let's see where this barracks is rallied. It is... Okay, never mind. It's rallied all the way to the HRE base. Zertan hasn't actually scouted there yet. He's just uh, blind rallying over there. And uh, what does Nyan see as we do this? He hasn't scouted out the other side of the river either. So we'll we'll see how this goes. Yeah, we'll, we'll see the game start to open up in just a second. One thing I will tell you is... The goal for the HRE is not fun. Uh, if that first gold gets denied, he's going to have to cross the river to a goal that's right behind it. Obviously, if an outpost got up, uh, it would probably give vision and deny that. And then the next golds are even further out. This is, I mean, it's basically all the gold in the south for Nyan and like all the gold in the north for Zertan. But the problem is just how far and how just Zertan's main focus can just be gold denial in the south. And I don't really know how Nyan can stop it other than having to just take the brunt of the force head on. I mean, Nyan definitely heard you. He's with four on the gold right now, and he has that inspired. So he's uh, he collected 137 gold. Yeah, and he just pulls what? right back on it. Looks like he's giving up the gold now, going heavier over to the wood. Can potentially start dropping production buildings and start pumping up some military to break out of this tower rush before it even happens. Yeah, what's what's your guess? Why did he stop at 137? I'm I'm confused. Is it? I I, I guess uh, uh, one it's upgrade. just a few men at arms. Oh, uh, a few minute arms, or if he needs a blacksmith, he has enough for an upgrade. Yeah, I guess. Um, my thought here would really be if you see the tower rush coming, as any sieve, typically your reaction is drop a archery range. HRE, we know they are hesitant to drop archery ranges ever. However, you know. I think if he spots us out, he could just pull Vils right now, deny this tower from going up. The further this gets delayed, it feels like it's such a far walk for Zertan. So the f longer this gets delayed, the more time this is just giving Nyan. But Nyan doesn't seem like he is in any rush at all. He's kind of just chilling. Outpost to halfway. Chapel uh, has been finished on the wood line. Just how Wayne did, getting that nice long-term inspiration bonus on the wood line. Whereas Zertan is yet to start aging up and here comes the hre archery range we this is gonna be a regular occurrence now holy shit people have discovered hre archers yeah it seems like they have the outpost though does go up i would have liked the vil pull to happen as well but by the time there are four spears it's too late to do a vil pull to you know dive into the spear so if it needed to happen it was a little bit earlier but think about if that outpost had been delayed 10 seconds or, or 30 seconds or gotten countered out there would have been a, a couple archers already out potentially denying anything further but this is the point where nyan he's fully denied off of gold he's going to be able to create a few archers and he made a second prelate with the gold that he had in the bank 
So that could just be a full Vilpul with double prelates to outheal the outpost at some point. Um, because right now with archers, they don't do well in, against those outposts, and you're going to need something to take that back. Um, your HRE, that's your lifeline. You want gold. That is what everyone knows and loves. Yeah, I mean, he could be going for, for the Feudal Age play, potentially. And he has a stone up there as well for a potential second town center, but this wood line is not going to last forever. And uh, your massive strength in the Feudal Age, which would be your man and there it is. you have access There's to. There's the Vilpul coming in. The double oh. prelates are there. As I mentioned, the, the prelates are supposed to be out healing those villagers, but they weren't there up. They weren't pulled forward. They weren't doing their job healing. Outpost is now down to a quarter health. And the outpost has been finished without too much damage. One vill did end up going down, um, but all of the spears should end up being cleared up. And Nyan, he's feeling pretty good as he's reclaimed his gold. He's already got 600 food in the bank. Silver tree for Zertan has gone down, but hasn't yet pumped a ton of traders out um, as it just finished on up. And it looks like he has a, a galley. Is that is that what I see up top? Where do you see a galley? He has one in the queue. Yeah, he's got a galley in the queue. He did build a forward dock during this time um, to get some fishing as well as just get some map control. Because once you have a light junk out, once you have that galley out, it's hard for military units to go and deny it. Whether it's spearmen to go burn it down, whether it's archers just trying to be annoying on the fishing boats or whatever. Oh my God. Can, that, can that galley pass oh, to the goal? Oh, oh he no, got it good. <laughs> It's it that one. Like he, he thought it could, but it is not. So this Aww. is definitely this is definitely a learning game for Zert. <laughs> he must be so upset right now. He thought he thought he was about to just be able to full deny gold with that single light junk, but unfortunately, not able to do so. Will protect up his dock, and in reality, that junk is able to push the archers away, keep his fishing boats alive. So it still has a use, even though the main use would have been so much juicier if it was it had that ability. Yeah, and, and I mean, if, if you're searching here, you're probably expecting to lose this dog uh, soon-ish, because it's so far forward, because you made it basically to get that uh, galley on this gold as soon as you can. But yeah. Uh, yeah he... Nyan's about to go up to castle, and after castle drops, I would assume it's Burgrave and then immediate flood. I would expect that dock to be one of the things focused, but that benefit for Zertan is that it does delay up those men at arms from flooding into his base if that's what Nyan chooses. And here comes the Burger Palace. Yep, so Burgers is on its way. Let's see, how's, how's this uh, trade line for Zertan doing in the meantime? Only 83 gold on traders. Is he yeah. move the silver tree? He already did to on top of the Uvu to be able to double produce a few times. There's not really a better spot to move it to. Like he can move it all the way towards his wood line. That's gonna give him an extra 20, 30 gold maybe. Um, but still not the best. Some archers trying to focus down that comp, but not only is it archers, we see a few horsemen here, and this timing is absolutely perfect from certain there's no units here to help really deny the horsemen from doing damage so what happens more villagers are pulled and luckily town center fire will help on out but this is just a little bit of delay this is a little bit of annoyance prelates there to heal as well so it doesn't look like the horsemen are going to be able to do enough to deny this but this is a game of seconds and as you continue to delay this burgrave this has allowed zertan behind this to be three quarters of the way up to castle age uh resources and it's going to take a while for men at arms to get all the way across for upgrades to get through and he can actually have some nice reactions himself being up nine eco and going ahead transition hard as you already see archery range being dropped and this is before he has enough for castle so he's already planning on starting to pump those crossbows in just a little bit first men at arms are streaming out of that Burgrave, chasing down the con. But again, all Zertan needs to do is delay, delay, delay as long as possible for those men at arms to actually get across into his eco. And stepped redouts going down, 10 bills on top of it. So this is when it is super crucial for Nyan to get some damage out and to get that burger to have something that it actually pays for. 
Yeah, and awkward timing for Nyan here. His sheep just ran out, so he has to get them food somewhere else. Berries won't won't last that much longer also. So what he needs to do is actually get on the water, get uh, shoreline fishing going or anything, but there is a Mongol dock there. Yeah, and we talked about any delay. You know what's great at forcing delay, forcing idle time, forcing annoyance? Hey. That horseman raid that we see, it might not cause too much damage as it did a little bit, but it's causing more and more delay. Those men at arms, they're getting closer and closer to being all the way across that map. But look at the point where Zertan is. He has finished his step right out and immediately double producing two sets of crossbows so we'll immediately be able to start massing up that unit mass to actually be enough to help defend from these men at arms all you need is about you know i would say eight to ten to be able to effectively start kiting them out in smaller numbers and he will already be halfway there in just the next couple seconds yeah exactly there's uh, how many is that six men at arms in the mongol base now but uh, it's under the tc there's a tower there Ooh, vil does get taken down vil's pulled away from that gold so zertan denied off a of gold for the time being those men at arms trying to find some damage looks like they are going to dive on those vils but look at that first four crossbows come in not quite there enough to two shot the men at arms but three is fine enough for the time being and will slowly thin out that trickle and the Problem for Nyan gets if he doesn't get bill kills, he's just going to be trading military for idle, and Zert will continue to climb up as the next four, next three crossbows come out. So this will effectively be able to essentially, you know, close to two shot these men at arms, and the idle time has started to be denied, and uh, villagers starting to pop back out and go back to work. Yeah, and behind all of this, Zertan's trade is still going. It might not be the most effective one, but. Uh... It's, it's just a few extra very effective gold units. Yep, and it looks like Nyan is trying to move out on the map to take some food. He's running out of food in, uh, inside of his initial river, and so he's going to take the deer, but those deer are right by the dock of Zertan which is being burnt down by those men at arms, but this should give vision and give the uh, give some good information for Zertan that basically says, I'm going to go pressure this vulnerable, vulnerable villagers moving out on the food. Yeah, and at the same time, Zertan can just pull his fishing boats back and drop another dock back here, and his fishing eco is still perfectly fine. Exactly, and not only that, he's going to move out onto some deer himself that's on uh, his trade line, so he might have one of these kill two birds with one stone. If he starts dropping an outpost over there, it will start speeding up his traders as well as giving him vision and some safety for some of these villagers. Exactly. Oh, uh, Zertan is actually uh, changing the, the rally point for his traders because he knows, Nyan knows about the top trade. So he's expecting a response there. He just uh, switched to the bottom neutral market. And as we speak, there is 11 uh, crossbows on the way to this deer patch. Yep, and that was what I was worried about. There's still some men-at-arms in the base of Nyan that need to be dealt with, but look, at every single one of those villagers are going to have to run away. They're just heading for the hills. Not only that, the military ship did jump on out of that dock just in time. So I, I said it was just information before it burnt down, but there was the good old galley that popped out. Relic's starting to be secured from Nyan, so that will be some good long-term gold generation for him as that monastery in the middle of the map that he dropped um, has been producing a good old prelate and we'll try to go grab another relic or two as well military melee units arriving for the mongols there's the first man at arms here at the forward base and they can just burn down this monastery that just collected uh, the first relic where are these men at arms going they are going for the trade line yeah, uh, it's it's Nyan's done a good job splitting up his men at arms. You see, sometimes people group up their men at arms all together, and they're just like, "You have to fight this mass." But if, like, if people are good at splitting up their vills, at taking that pressure and and spreading you out, well, that's when men at arms become less effective. But Nyan, he's just splitting up these men at arms and forcing his opponent to react if multiple different spots of the map, which isn't easy to do with crossbows. Exactly, because they're so slow and uh, you might expect to maybe get caught out by a ton of cavalry, but uh, Nyan is food starved right now. He needs to get food somewhere, he's scouring his own wood line at home to drop as many farms as he can right now. And if you looked at the military count, he didn't actually produce military for the last three minutes because he didn't have food for it. 
Yeah. And not only that, I mean, the military that he did produce, I, I kind of mentioned it earlier, he's throwing away the men at arms for hope to damage the eco. The problem is, is Zertan's still building up more and more and more eco, whereas Nyan never really did enough to matter, and trade's still going on, and those crossbows weren't the units being taken down. So that mass of crossbows gets bigger and bigger and bigger as your men at arms mass gets smaller and smaller and smaller, and then you find yourself in a predicament like this, where he's down... 20 military units and i don't know how he's going to be able to stabilize being behind an eco as well relics yeah they provide some but not enough in my eyes yeah he is super far behind right now in economy wise and it's not gonna get better right now because he doesn't have a dock he does not have a second town center he's just uh, sitting at home to still busy with his farm transition and he's going for horsemen now do you think these uh nine horsemen that he made will stack up to those 29 crossbows on the map yeah, and not only is it, tw I mean, the 29 crossbows, they would trade pretty well against it, but, you know, still struggle just to, due to the kite ability and having, you know, hard to get all of the attacks off. But even just one or two spearmen, that we, two spearmen that we just saw for Zertan would do so much against all of those horsemen. Some you raids, know some annoyance still trying to come in, but Zertan looks like he is starting to push forward with his mass. He's actually trickling in some men at arms himself with it. It's just the point where he has so many resources. He's like, I'm just going to out macro you because of how much I have behind this. And it doesn't matter what units you have. I'm going to have more. Yeah, Zertan must be feeling pretty damn good right now because the, the front galley, the light junk he made at the start of the game, it's still up there. It's still sitting right where it was at the start, uh, below this stone outcropping, and it sees everything that's being made in the HRE base. He saw all the units leaving. He knows where everything is. Yep, he even circled around with his con up in the north too, so sees, you know, anything and everything. He's moving out with massive villagers. Why? Because Nyan hasn't stabilized. Nyan hasn't taken map control, and the trade is just building up bigger and bigger and bigger. Might not be the best, but as those traders make six, seven, eight trips, I don't care how good that is. If they're bringing in 80 a pop and they made eight trips, well, that is a ton of resources, and multiply that by 10. Yeah, I mean, Zertan could definitely drop a market in a corner and have a better trade, but he doesn't need to because that's just, that's the, wow, it's just so much resources already, he doesn't really care. Yep, and pushes on forward, has his crossbow mass, he's over that, you know, river that you could cross, the uh, path of crossable river, and just non-stop firing. Horseman trying to dive in on the backside of Nyan, crossbows getting focused down, there's a few land snakes into the mix, will this be enough though? This is a defensive game, but is there enough of a defense here to hold? Nyan's numbers just continuing to drop, or Zertans are just staying steady, absolutely fine, and Nyan just starting to trickle in you units going to have farms denied here and i don't see a way for him to stabilize as his military drops below double digits yeah no way he's coming back from that for a second i thought he might pull it out of the back with with the four lamp lamp snacks he had in there but yeah not, not gonna happen <laughs> and as we see the uh, slow or not so slow death of nine racing cat here Sturton's just method methodically working his way up the villager line. Yep, and... the less full map control. <laughs> Uh, and Zertan's just going to continue to move past all of those farms with that military, idling all of Nyan's food economy, which means even less military that's going to be able to be produced. 14 villagers inside the town center, and he's already down 30 overall. Eco, it is all but over here and i just you know zertan just showing you where you can be the aggressor with the mongols it just it push your opponent on the back foot he was able to you know go a little greedy behind it and there it is nyan throws in the towel gives it over to zertan and is moving on to the next round to to make, give himself a reset and zertan giving himself a nice dub after the long long game against the Vi